first start this thing. That's opened. This is closed. I want to take off this window right here. Just a little bit. Don't lose that screw. Turn it. want fuel to go out of there so these are cracked one two three four injectors are cracked open turn fuel on give it a minute to fill up Give it a minute to fill up. Oh, yeah. Full oil. We got like 15 gallons of fuel in that tank. Come on, man. I sometimes put pressure to the tank like with air but I don't feel like doing that today. Fill up. Fill up. Jostle the motor over a minute. I see some drippy down here already. Fuel, come on, fuel. No fuel coming out of it, it's not. Let the uh, gravity drain. Diesel fuels is a little thicker than you know other fuels, so. Just give it a minute to pour out there. This is where I think most people have 90% of the problems when they're trying to get a machine started like this. This pump needs to have no air from this point to the tank. Everybody knows that. But gravity, and again, I didn't put in five gallons. I put in 15 gallons, and I was hoping that was enough to push it into the lines and, pull, and throw some air out here, bubble air bubbles out here. But it's not doing that. So I'm just going to take an air hose and I'm gonna put air into the top of the tank of the fuel and what it will do is push the fuel into the lines so let's let me do that because I want fuel to come out here and I want fuel to come out here I should get a step stool because I'm short let's see what happens That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want. So, put this back there. That's what I want to see. Let me do that again. Let me close this up. And I want air, I want to get air out of here. I don't even want to bother starting it until I get air out of this one a little bit.
That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Little shuddy there. Now let me crank it over and I want fuel coming out of here. This might seem menial, but it's not. These are these washers. I reused them on the uh, when I pulled the injector pump off and put them back on. I reused these washers, and it didn't seal up correctly. And again, not to sound like a parrot, but if you have a, uh, it's four thousand pounds of pressure going into the injector, and if you don't have that pressure, your injector is not going to fire. So these were not sealing correctly so thanks again to miller's diesel i replaced them with these it sealed up everything and it was good to go gotta give a shout out to a couple people um appreciate it jim for your help jim's brother out west he's the one that said uh looked at the playlist and looked at everything and goes looks good to me he's a diesel uh tech guru thanks to butch appreciate it um he said like uh i was worried a little bit about a partner here too and he said man if it uh if you build it correctly and everything's right he goes it'll fire right up thanks for that you know thanks to miller's diesel uh south central pa man they're it they're the thing and as I said before, I talked to the uh, owner of it and anybody in the United States who wants to uh, get an inject injector pump rebuilt or whatever, man, just give them a call. They'll diagnose half the crap over the phone. They're that good. Um, give them a call and, uh, you know, ship it to them. They'll build it and ship it back to you, you know. How great is that? And uh, I have to say thanks to my wife. Um not once did she bitch about there being a five-ton lawn ornament in her front yard for about two years. So I appreciate that. I mean, could you imagine? Ooh, Henry. I couldn't imagine that. I appreciate that. So, and thanks for everybody. I mean, like, hit the subscribe button if you appreciate it. If not, whatever. All good. Yeah, man. If I can do it, you can do it. Anybody can do it. Yep.
make sure you check out the entire playlist of 580C 207D Tobacco Rebuild. Of course, make sure you like and subscribe, but more importantly, go build something. Share it.